Week 25, distance learning. Yay! It's almost time for spring break. I'm stressed out. I'm exhausted. In fact, I am so stressed out, I got sick this week and I missed two IEPs. That's not good. I have never missed two IEPs. Never. Luckily, or blessed, I shouldn't say luckily, I was so blessed to be able to reschedule them. The parents were not upset. They allowed me to reschedule so I'm going to reschedule and then do the paperwork. It's very upsetting to me. I'm still upset about it. They're not upset about it. I'm still upset about it. I don't do that. But stress is getting to me. So that's when you need to take a step back, refocus, do some self-care. People were like self-care, spa, self-care, blah, blah, blah. Self-care, prayer, meditating on the word, reminding yourself what you're doing this for. What is God's call on your life? What has he told you that you need to do? What has he told you that you need to become? That's what you're doing. Preparation for that. Not your agenda that you have made up. But what is God's agenda for your life? Maybe you need more rest again. Remember we spoke about the rest? Maybe now you need more rest again. God needs to give you more rest. Rest beyond sleep. Rest beyond a spa day but real rest for your soul. The Holy Spirit can only give you real rest for your soul. So you need to seek that out. I have my first COVID shot vaccine Saturday, Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And then two weeks after that, the second one. So we'll make the appointment while, but I'm gonna tell you what, we're the only district in the surrounding area who's not back at school, who's not doing hybrid. Most of the rest of the ones that we're holding out started this week so we're the only one that's not on some type of hybrid education at this point so it seems inevitable but you know what god can do anything he can do anything we need to not go back until next school year so that's what i'm praying for but i'm preparing myself in case that's what needs to happen and take place because nothing is going to happen or take place that he doesn't think should happen or take place right can i get an amen on that i'm not worried i'm not afraid but i'm tired and of stress. I have to be honest with you, right? We agreed to be honest with each other because we are friends. And as a friend, I'm telling you, lay it down. Don't be afraid to lay it down, to rest, to put it in his hands and let it go. You can't fix everything. You're not meant to fix everything. That's why he's there for you to lay it on him. Take his, his yoke is light. My burden's heavy. My yoke is heavy. It's getting heavier. So I got to give it to God. I got to give it to Jesus so he can carry it and deal with it. Because I can't anymore. I'm tired. It's beyond me. I've, I've struggled within my power. And you know what happens? You put it down. You give it to him. Then you pick it back up. Right? We talked about this before. Then you put it down. And then you pick it back up. And this happens. It's a process. So because it's a process... We know that it's a cyclical thing. We're going to put it back down and pick it back up probably several times. And that's okay. As long as we recognize that. That is gross. That is gross. Where am I? Where do I need to be? What do I need to do to get there? Gross. The danger comes when you keep repeating the same thing. Repeating the same issue. Having the same problem that's when the danger comes what am i avoiding right now i work i'm avoiding being burdened even more than i already am because we're in that one phase of the year where they're like i'm so sorry we know that you were tired and we gave you one one million things to do but um could you do this one more thing because i know i'm supposed to do it but it was just too much so i figured the teachers could do it and you guys are wonderful and awesome thank you so much for doing this one more thing Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. We emailed you at the very last minute with another one more thing. But you know what? I'm so sorry. It was given to us at the last minute. So we're going to give it to you at the last minute. But you guys are awesome. And it's wonderful that you're doing this one more thing again. They don't see, they don't recognize, or they don't care. Or it is a 
amalgamation of all of those things. You're breaking your teachers down. You're breaking your staff down. You're overworking them. They're getting ill. They're starting to have to go out. So many teachers are out across the country. They don't speak about this on emotional distress. They're on emotional distress leave. So that's why they keep asking us at my district, how you doing? If you need any help, let us know. Um, call this number and you can talk to someone about your issues or how you're feeling because they're losing us left and right. Emotional distress leave. Because we talk about the toll on the children, the toll on the country. How are people doing emotional? But you need to check in with yourself. How are you doing? We're still having a pandemic. Everyone keeps acting like eh, it's, all, it's all over. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all back to normal. It's not business as usual. It's not back to normal. And I'm tired of this phrase, the new normal, the new normal. There's no new normal. It was never normal. Nothing was ever normal. It's just how it was. It's just how it is and how it's going to be. There's no new normal. If any of us were ever normal and things were ever normal, when was that? Let me know. There wasn't. There was never a normal time. But God has always been in control, despite of what anyone may think or what it may seem like. He's always been in control. That's normal. That's normal. That's the old normal, the new normal, and the future normal. Jesus Christ being in control and being the ultimate decider, right? The decider with the ultimate say in how things turn out and what we get or we don't get. I was so stressed out at the beginning of this week. I was sick and I thought I had maybe had COVID. I don't. <clears throat> But that let me know I need to kind of take it easy a bit. I need to stop trying to do everything for everyone. I thought I was good. I'm not good. I'm not good. I can't, I can't help anyone if I can't help myself. So that's a realization for me. And I hope it's a realization to you. And I hope by sharing that I can help you recognize some things that you need to work on. Because I recognize a lot of things I need to work on. I am far from perfect. I messed up so many times every day and every week, every month and every year. All I can do is ask the Lord for forgiveness and those that I've hurt for forgiveness. And then hopefully they'll forgive me and we'll move on. If they can't forgive me, I, I will hope to reconcile with them and work out something so that we can do that. We're not perfect. We're human beings. We err, are err all the time. But what can I do about that? What can I do to fix that? What can we do to fix that? So we can work it out. I'm so stressed out. My fingernails are not painted. Okay? My manicure is not together. That is how stressed out I am. I feel very badly about that. But I'm going to do something about it. I decided I will do something about that shortly. Thank you for listening so much. As always, God bless you.